Cindy, do you want to come over for Valentine's Day and go out for ice cream? Okay. And then you'll kiss me. <sighs> Sue! You will not believe all the crap Hutch is going through for this Macy girl for Valentine's Day. It's bracelet, cooking her dinner, dumb, right? I don't know. It was kind of sweet to think of somebody going to all that effort. Really? No, you big tool. I told you I hate Valentine's Day. Blech. <laughs> Seriously, character day was awesome. All the football players dressed up like Disney princesses. You know, I never used to understand why football players dressed up like women was so funny. But now that I'm a senior, I totally get it. Speaking of special days, did I overhear you and Darren discussing Valentine's Day and some kind of surprise? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. I definitely don't. Because I casually mentioned to Darren that there's this sweater I like with the word believe written across it. And back then, I said I wanted the blue one, but now I really want the red one. So if he happens to ask again, that's the one I definitely want. But didn't hear it from me. Rick, are you OK? You haven't touched Doris's food. Cindy expects me to kiss her in two days, and I'm very apprehensive. What are you talking about? You kissed that girl in North Carolina? No, I was the kissy. I've never been the kisser. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's like handing me the keys to a jet plane and just saying fly. Rick, it's not that hard. It, it just sort of happens in the moment. I need more than it happens in the moment. I can't be spontaneous unless I plan for it. Not a big deal. You just stand there, close your eyes, and lean in. But if my eyes are closed, how will I know where the target is? Well, you know where lips are, don't you? You've been looking at faces your whole life. He really hasn't. You know, Brick, you can keep them open, and then once you get there, you can close them. Right, Mike? Yeah, that's fine. What's fine? OK, so then I leave them open, but what then? I, I don't know. It's not that specific. I think we're slicing too thin here. You just have to kind of feel it. What's this? What am I supposed to do with my hands? Well, there's a lot of options for your hands, but you're a kid, so focus on the back, upper shoulder area. Um, she's tall, Mike. That's not gonna work. Oh, God, you're right. Cindy's got two feet on me. Easy. Don't worry, Brick. Look at your dad and me. There's a huge height difference, and we make it work. Here, we'll show you. Here, come here. OK, I'll be you and your dad's Cindy. I don't want to be Cindy. Why can't I just be a tall guy? Because I'm the guy. Fine, no one's anyone. You're just some random tall person, and I'm a generic short person. Nothing weird, just two genderless strangers kissing in front of a boy. Fine. No, 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 stop. I'm supposed to be the kisser. OK, Brick, now, you want to pull Cindy to you, but you're going to need something to grab onto. Oh, I know, she has that safari hat. So you can just grab the hat flaps. OK, I'm going to pretend your dad's ears are the hat flaps, OK? Hmm? Then, mm. Oh, God. Look away, Brick. Look away before you turn to stone. We're not kissing because we want to. It's for teaching purposes. You shouldn't be doing that. Now he's going to associate kissing with something gross. Look, nobody told me what to do. Just let him fumble his way through it like everybody else. Cindy wants me to kiss her. And he went to mom and dad instead of me? Rookie mistake. OK, smart guy, what's your brilliant advice? I say get it over with early in the date. That way all the pressure's off. If you wait too long, you get too nervous. Actually, Brick, that's a good idea. Don't agree with me, Mom. It wrecks my point. Look, the hardest part is trying to know whether or not she wants to kiss you. And you already know she does, so you're golden. Just put your mouth on her mouth. And remember this code I made up. Keep it simple, stupid. Oh, I get it. K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. Oh, yeah. I never thought about that. Wow, I am good. Oh. OK, listen. I got to say something, but I don't want you to get all weird and overly excited about it. Oh, well, what is it? I need your advice. Whoa! Okay. Would you just be cool? I'm cool. I'm totally cool. I'm just, just so happy right now. <laughs> okay. So, Devin says she doesn't want anything for Valentine's Day, but then Hutch says every girl wants something, and I just really like her. I don't want to blow it. Okay. Okay. So, that's the question on the table. Says no might mean yes. And you've come to me, your mom, to. Help you figure it out, which I love, by the way. Mom. OK, got it. Um, well, you know, I had a birthday party once, and I said I didn't want any presents, but I got them anyway, and I totally loved it. Then again, she's not me. She might really mean what she says. I mean, sometimes I mean what I say. See, it's like with your dad, you know. We have our thing.